Tello. Our young president, Captain Ibrahim, Jure, you make African great. Our girls are asking me, could a mal has become great? Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Greetings to you all. You are most welcome. While periodic elections uh become fashionable in africa and become the sign of democracy uh in burkina faso things are totally different the government and the leadership of burkina faso has denied and rejected totally the western democracy of a periodic election where they said that they will not conduct the election until uh the country is at security until they build states and develop their country that's where they will conduct these periodic elections they have said and declared that they are not politicians they are men with emissions our prime minister of burkina faso said we came for a mission it is to secure and to secure our, our territory rebuild our states and develop our country if election cannot help us to achieve these goals, we will suspend them until we are led. That is a statement of Prime Minister of Burkina Faso. So, my dear brothers and sisters, you can comment on that. Uh, what do you think about this? Yes, the leadership of Burkina Faso know very well that elections um, and political parties are tools that have been used to divide uh, people in countries um, they know very well that when people are divided it is very easy to be attacked uh, because they are not in unity and that's why they have st decided to stop uh, these elections because we know all of us that during election campaigns people are divided the violations uh, sometimes occurred in different parts of uh, the country so they have decided to keep the people uh, into unit uh, because if you allow them uh, to at this time to uh, to go into election automatically people are going to be divided into different uh, political parties and sometimes uh, people in government lose concentrations on what they are doing so that's why you see uh, Burkina Faso's leadership have decided to keep aside uh, these uh, elections uh, you know very well that uh, the mission of uh, Captain Ibrahim Traore uh, government is to build infrastructures to build industries uh, to fight uh, terrorists so it will be difficult uh, to lift those goals and to go to elections. We know election it costs a lot of um, money, so they have decided to keep this money into development uh, projects. So that's why you see uh, they have rejecting these uh, democratic elections. A periodic election that for them mean nothing because that is not the needs of uh, the people right now the people of Burkina Faso right now needs um, development needs security needs food uh, and you know uh, Captain Ibrahim Traore uh, stopped the export of uranium and the gold so there are some countries that are not happy with these decisions. So if you allow people to be divided into um, these political parties, it will be easy for those who don't want Captain Ibrahim Traoré to sponsor uh, one of the candidates who they wish uh, to take over the country so that it can, when he came to power, he can uh, revoke these uh, decisions so that's why you see they have decided right now to stop these uh, elections democratic elections uh, or periodic elections that for them as i said it looks meaningless 
um yes uh you know if people are divided into these political parties uh it will be easier for enemies to use these political parties to sponsor groups within these uh, political parties to bring instability and we have uh, vivid examples in some places in the countries where people are fighting while resources are going or taken away from the countries we have seen the countries suffering people suffering while their resources are taken away so uh, to continue to bring people together uh, even though people some of them are not happy with these decisions because you cannot make all people happy uh, but majority if majority is happy it is well and good uh, you know captain Ibrahim Traore survived several coups against him so he know very well those who want to remove him from power those external forces that are pushing pressure uh, to remove him uh, from power so by postponing elections also uh, is for security reasons uh, on his uh, leadership uh, but also uh, the Burkina Faso's government uh, is among of those three governments that withdrew from ECOWAS and came in with the idea of uh, forming uh, the Alliance of Sahel State so uh, they want to accomplish this mission then I think uh, the political president will come in but first of all uh, they're trying to make sure that the missions are complete uh, as I said here the missions of uh, bringing security building infrastructures uh, honing uh, resources uh, we see privatization, national, I mean nationalization of uh, of resources in Burkina Faso. So that's what I think uh, that they have postponed these elections for several reasons. But all in all, uh, it's for the better uh, future of the country of Burkina Faso and our people. So, you know why um, I agree with. Uh, Captain Ibrahim Traore and the people of Burkina Faso for stopping this uh, election. Uh, I have experience. I'm living in Africa and I want to tell you this truth. In Africa, election is not the competition of idea. Election in Africa is the fighting for power. While other parts of the world, elections, political parties, is the competition of idea generation or generating of new ideas but when it comes to Africa it is totally different we have seen countries fallen into civil war because of elections because of different ideologies yes we can disagree in certain things but we must understand that despite we are disagree but we are still a human being we are still Africans but those who bring this uh, ideology to us about election, about uh, uh, political parties, they know very well that we, the people of Africa, we are not much educated on this, so we will fight one another. And that is what's happening in many parts of our continents. So we need to find new governance systems that will teach our people will educate our people that this is the competition of idea we are not fighting one another we are competing with ideas we all of us we want to build a single nation if you are a certain political party and i'm in the certain political party all of us we are competing with idea we are not fighting one another we are competing in order to convince citizens to convince people uh, to give us mandate to be uh, to read so that we can build uh, our countries or our states in in different ways as you want to build that's what uh, we must understand and uh, you know my dear brothers and sisters uh, that's why you see uh, the continent of Africa 
So I think this is the right time for the people of Africa and African countries to redefine our governance system. The Western democracy has failed to bring changes to bring development to our people. Poverty is still on the streets, in villages, people are still suffering. So I think we have to move away from this kind of governance. The people of Africa does not need new faces on state houses. What the people of Africa needs is good lords, quiet education, good health care, electricity, food on the table, security, free movement. That is what the people of Africa needs. But Western democracy, what they are doing in Africa, in many places, is to bring new faces on offices. That is not enough for us. The continent is richest in terms of resources, yet we are still poor. Yet we are called poor. Yet we are still suffering. We don't have enough electricity. We have uranium. We have coal. We have uh, waterfalls in different parts of this continent. We have winds. We have waves. And we have no electricity. We don't need such kind of governance. We need to move away from that kind of governance. We need governance that will provide services, quality services and good services to our people. That's what the people of Africa needs. You see how the Chinese are doing. Chinese are doing well. They have decided to take their own path. Whatever you call it, dictatorship, whatever you call it, democracy, but they have decided to move in their own ways. They're not following this, what we call democratic elections. That does not bring much to, to their people. That's why today, all of us, we are using Chinese products. They know how to add value. So we need the government, the system that will encourage African people to utilize, to add value to our resources, to create job opportunities for our young men and women, to our graduates, to conduct researches in different parts of this continent. That is what the people of Africa needs. During my lifetime, I have seen countries fallen into civil war because of these elections. People lost property, people lost lives. It's because sometimes these democratic elections are sponsored by others and sometimes is put in place to bring conflict because they know that through this is a way to divide people. So that was my opinion. So my dear brothers and sisters, uh, I will not talk for too long, but that is what I think. And it is better, as, as I said, that for Africa uh, to move forward, we need to define our, our governance systems that will bring development to our people, uh, that will bring us out of poverty, that will help us to benefit from our resources. Thank you.